And it looks like it'll be these two superstars oh, kicking it off here tonight. He's inflicting some serious pain here. This man means business. Our tooth is starting to look a little uneasy. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. It looks oh, to yeah. me like he's really trying to carry this team on his back, which really isn't necessary considering he has a very capable partner he can tag in here. A nasty kick there. Took him out at the knee. He's inflicting some serious pain here. What does our truth have to do at this point to stay in this match? This very well may be too much for him to handle. If you told me heading into this match that he was going to absorb so much punishment, I would have called you a liar. Especially you, Saxton. But then again, I never believe anything that comes out of your mouth. Man, this is as one-sided an affair as you will ever see. If he goes on to lose this match, you have to expect it'll set him back quite a bit. So damaging. I think this man means business. Perfectly executed. And soon. Yeah, but if you count them out now, guys, you'd be making a very big mistake. Mark my words. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bachwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, The New Day, The Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus. I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing gold. It's got to be over now. Goldust with a nice reversal. He's making a statement here with this attack. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Look out! And he misses the mark. Talk about a rough landing. Oh, look! Go flying fish hook! I don't like how this is looking for our truth. Here's a cover. 
and he stops the count. As the human body can only absorb so much of that. In WWE, there's as much chaos outside the ring as there is inside the ring. Try working with Saxton at ringside. And our truth evades that one. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. square off against each other right now. This is amazing. He's not looking like himself here, but it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack, though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. He's inflicting some serious pain here. A lot of pride on the line here in this tag team encounter, but only two of these competitors will end up getting what they came for. The win. Premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Look at this, right to the body. Corey, a few moments ago you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. The team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag. They're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. A maneuver like that is a great way to turn the tables. There it is. Fitch just put the exclamation point on this match. Yeah. A true testament to grit. So resourceful. We're witnessing a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. And a perfectly executed stretch. Goldust gets out of the way quickly. Goldust doing a great job of turning that around. Nobody controls the blatant disregard for the referee's authority. Gets this one thrown out. 